The Steam Deck was announced in 2021 and was expected to release in the holiday of 2021 as well. But after some delays, we are expecting the Steam Deck to be released in February of 2022. Now, as many of you may know the specs, the Steam Deck will be rocking a AMD APU. The starting price will be $399, which is pretty um, reasonable and pretty competitive when it comes on to the handle market on the PC side. This will be the cheapest entry into PC handheld with the most performance. So Valve is doing a great job there. They're offering the best price to performance ratio and the Steam Deck can go all the way up to I think about $600 or $700 for the most um, expensive tier with the most power and the fastest SSD. However, all three devices, all three models will be shipping with the same APU. The only difference is that the base model will be shipping with a eMMC drive and the others will be shipping with a NVMe SSD. The screen resolution on the Switch will be a 7 inch at about 720p and that's pretty much similar to what we have on the Nintendo Switch. We have touch controls on the Steam Deck along with full controller um, layout on the Steam Deck as well. The Steam Deck will be able to run Windows 11 and it will also be able to run the Linux front end which will be operating the Steam Deck system. Now some new information has come out about the Steam Deck. It is said that the Steam Deck will be supporting dynamic cloud sync, which means that you can easily go from your PC to your Steam Deck and pick up right where you left off. So for example, if you were playing a game on your Steam Deck, you paused it and you want to go ahead and pick that game up later on your PC, your save data will just automatically automatically be transferred over to your PC. So they're doing all of this through Steam, which will make Steam the main ecosystem on the Steam Deck. And I think this is pretty awesome. However, because this will be running Windows 10, you can also take advantage of other um, storefronts such as the Epic Game Store or the Microsoft Game Store. So if you have Game Pass, you can still play your Game Pass games on the Steam Deck, which is amazing. So, I think the Steam Deck is going to be a success. I think they're going to have a hard time making these systems to sell as, ma sell as many as um, demand would ask. So I think the demand is going to be pretty high at launch and there might be a few shortages. And we're already seeing that here. That's why it was delayed because they couldn't get this out um, soon enough based on the demand. However. I expect it to be a success, but I don't think it's going to come anywhere near the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is a different beast, and I see a lot of persons saying that, oh, the Steam Deck is going to be the death of the Nintendo Switch, but that won't be the case. Nintendo has too much of a big of a footprint in the handheld market, and when you look at what the Steam Deck is doing, it's kind of um, appealing to the niche of PC gamers who want the portability like with the switch that just appeals to everybody that's for casual gamers hardcore gamers so the switch is going to continue to sell more than the steam deck so i just wanted to give my two cents on the steam deck i think it will be a success if you have ordered a steam deck and you're waiting to receive yours in february please let me know down in the comment section below what is your most desired feature of the steam deck whether it's a hardware feature or a software feature let me know i'll be in really um interested in reading your comments and giving my feedback down in the comment section as well that's pretty much gonna do it for the video guys um Thank you for rocking out with me again for another video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.